Bob Shoup steps on campus and immediately is enamored with the safety position at Tennessee. Mark Rogers TV and also SEC Breakdown looking at uh, the Vols back four on defense, specifically at the safety spot. We bring in Mike Laval, also joins me on SEC Breakdown. And from last word on sports, Mike, uh, the safety position loses Brian Randolph, who was extremely productive, 306 total tackles in his career with eight picks, Ladariel McNeil, also a strong player there. Uh, your thoughts about the safety position as we kind of run down the personnel uh, in this group? Mark, the safety position is probably the silent defense for the most questions. You mentioned losing Brian Randolph. He was a three-year starter, had 70 tackles last season. Uh, but they also lost Ladero McNeil, who was a starting free safety last year as well. So uh, Tennessee's bringing back 16 starters from last year, but at that safety position, they lost both starters. So it is uh, the position of question mark as far as depth. Unlike the receivers, uh, we think the quality is there. We think it's going to be a pretty smooth transition. You're going to see Ty Kelly Jr. start at strong safety. Uh, Kelly had uh, played in 13 games as a freshman and as a sophomore and recorded three interceptions both years without being a starter. I think he started two games uh, last year. But uh, having three interceptions uh, over those years without being a starter uh, tells you that he's got a nose for the ball. And when Bob Shoup talks about how impressed he is with this secondary, Ty Kelly Jr. is the leader of that secondary, and Bob Shoup has made uh, uh, reference numerous times to Ty Kelly Jr.'s foot view, uh, which is something coaches talk about. But, but Shoup loves Kelly uh, back there at strong safety, and that's a key position defense. Uh, at free safety, uh, you're going to see Rashawn Golden. Rashawn uh, played some nickel back in 2015, but he was hurt in preseason camp, had a foot injury, red shirt last year. Uh, but he came in, practiced at the starter position, in spring ball. So I think you're going to see Ty Kelly Jr. at the strong position, Rashawn Golden at the free position uh, to backfield Randolph and, and McNeil. You're going to have Stephen Griffin and Evan Berry will probably be your two deep guys, Griffin backing up Kelly Jr. And then Evan Berry back there at free safety. Maybe Mac Abernathy uh, will get some playing time at free safety as well. So that's kind of your two deep at safety. Again, this is a critical position in Bob Shoup's defense. Shoup's very aggressive. So when you have that aggressive front line, that aggressive uh, blitzing defense, you need those safeties back there who can make up ground and cover gaps and seams uh, to, to ensure that you don't have that big play, which is something Tennessee is really working on, eliminating those big plays. And safeties are key to that. The one thing I will tell you is somebody we didn't mention, uh, freshman coming in from Georgia, Nigel Warrior. Uh, I think he will probably get some playing time this year. I am really excited uh, after seeing him play a couple times in high school. He's aggressive, fits Shoup's defense perfectly uh, at that strong safety position. He's six foot, only about 185 or 190, 190 pounds. So he needs to add a little bit of weight. Uh, I'd like to see him at 205 or 210 to play that strong safety position behind Todd Kelly Jr. But I think Nigel Warrior is going to be good. And I think he's going to pr provide a long-term future at that safety position for Tennessee. And as you well know, Mike, uh, Shoup is a guy that likes uh, not necessarily the right and left safety, uh, left safety designation, but is going to go with a strong and weak. Everybody's being trained on in terms of the technique and the keys in both positions. Uh, he, he's setting up a strong safety and a, and a weak safety, but he's – said that he would like to get the two best safeties out there, and because he's trained them in both uh, techniques, uh, they should be all set to go. Yeah, Mark, Shoup's one of the, Shoup's one of the uh, defensive coordinators that has not gone to a, a two-deep safety package. He still has a strong safety and a free safety, uh, and, and he's going he's gonna to utilize that, which is, I think, good in the SEC because in the SEC you have predominantly run-first offenses. Uh, so that strong safety really is a uh, is a little bit lighter of a linebacker and really helps in the running game. Uh, if you played in the Big 12 or maybe the Pack, uh, the Pack Pack, you know, that that strong safety kind of makes you a little bit vulnerable, particularly on those two and three deep crossing routes. Uh, but Shoop Shoop still stays with that traditional strong and free package as opposed to the two deep splitting the field. Uh, and I think that's okay uh, because you're going to have because in playing in the SEC you're not going to play a lot of pass happy offenses, maybe for the exception of Texas A&M. Uh, we'll see what Ole Miss does this year with Chad Kelly. But he's going to get the two best safeties on the field, and I think that's going to be Todd Kelly Jr. and Rashawn Golden. Uh, but, but people are excited about Shoup's defense coming in, the aggressiveness, aggressive nature of it, uh, and that defensive safety slot is going to be his backstop. It's going to be what allows him to be aggressive. If these guys can play to a high level, he'll be more aggressive. He'll be as aggressive as his safety is allowing to be. 
Evan Berry and sophomore Stephen Griffin, also a couple guys that uh, figured to get some playing time. Uh, Marquez Callaway, you'll see him high on some recruiting boards uh, from the 2016 class, seventh rated safety, according to ESPN, uh, out of Georgia. Uh, here's a kid that uh, may show up at another position, or as we've talked about, uh, may just make an impact in 2017 uh, and beyond. Mike Laval, last word on sports and also SEC breakdown, uh, joining us to break down uh, the safety position with a lot of talent on the field, but some uncertainty about where, who's who's going to show up in what spots as we head toward the fall. Appreciate uh, the breakdown, Mike. 